Yo guys, this episode is absolutely fantastic. I had so much fun making this video because there was so much good progress that just all kind of relates together. This video is all about Zora and improving our setup so that we can kill Zora even better. Right now we have Ibn's staff as our main weapon alongside our fortunate early blowpipe, but it's going to get so much better throughout this video. So definitely sit back and enjoy this progress. And if you do like what you see, definitely consider subscribing and liking the video, okay? That would help a lot and you don't want to miss on the next episode because the next episode is also pretty crazy too. I got lots of clips ready. 60 dram bones? Okay, we still have a while to go. Well, maybe not. I mean, I got 30k in this. 30k of insult hits right here. This gotta be like 20k, right? 20k, 50k? Ooh, I think we just banked 70 prayer, boys. 30k, like 20k, and then I got 60, 72 dram bones, basically. So Mutz is also almost 70 prayer, so perfect timing because we can just both get the 70 together using his altar for the dram bones. Alright, I don't need the rest of these. Mutz is a uh, 30k. 30k away from 70 as well, so uh, we'll give the leftovers to him and maybe that'll help him get it. There it is, 70 prayer. We are finally done. Piety, almost unlocked. Let me give you uh, the rest of these. Alright, we finally unlocked Piety. Hell yeah. Nice. So unlocking Piety means that I can actually go ahead and do the Mauritania up to Heart Diaries, aka the Barrels Diaries. Yay, we did all the medium after doing a bunch of quests. I got the 66 agility and Mutz is doing some Ceratomen to get me a Summer Pie. They're a pretty common draw for the minions and they give me plus 5. So yeah, I'm just gonna plus 5 with the Summer Pie for the advanced spike uh, shortcut at the tower for the last task. There we go. Dude, it's so weird. If you take damage, it won't count the task, but we did it. I've been meaning to get back to barrels because I still want some Aram's pieces to upgrade for my Mystics for Zora and Raids and all that stuff. And maybe get some Carols. And the Diary was definitely the way to go for long-term grinding because the 50% runes per chest was so good. Like, I don't want to pass on that. So now we can start doing some barrels again in between Slayer and Zora and all that stuff. God, Blowpipe just destroys Aram's, man. Oh my days. Jeez, that is too good. You can definitely feel the 50% right there. Increase on the runes, though. Oh, there it is. 85 magic. Oh, Torax legs. Let's go. Second pair of tank legs for the boys. Let's get it. Okay, never mind. Pretty good now. Okay, we're going to make a trade with Fuse here. He got us an extra D-boot. In exchange, I gave him a Torax leg. I think it's a pretty good deal. Okay, here we go. Oh, damn. Dorox Helm. Okay, okay. New item. Wait a minute. If I get Dorox legs, I complete full Dorox. Any luck of barrels? Yeah, I got a Dorox Helm just now. One Dorox legs and I can complete Dorox. Oh my god, I just completed full Dorox. <laughs> Yo, I'm pretty sure I just complete full Dorox, dude. Yo, we just complete full Dorox. Cool, that's actually sick. I don't know what we do with that. Mole, maybe? Some giant mole? Huh? <laughs> God damn, bro. So Fuse is working towards 87 Slayer right now. He's getting really close, and so far he's gotten us a lot of goodies. But pretty soon, I will have a trident for Zora, which is going to be so much better than my freaking Ivans. Oh, I got a whip now. Yo, check it out. Fuse got 85 Slayer. And ta-da, look at that. We got ourselves a whip for for good. Like, this one's a keeper. We don't have to share it, because Mutz has the blade, so just me and Fuse needed one whip. Yes! Oh my god, I got so lucky. <laughs> yes, the random Zora. Jab face decided to just mage me, and I, and I banked on mage. That was a good kill. Oh, 150 Zora kills, and I get a task. Zora veteran? Sweet, I'm a Zora veteran. Yo, it's cold in here, dude. Dude, this feels like upgrading from, yeah, from like Gen 1 of Pokemon to like Gen 3. 
with all the different weather patterns. Yo, 200 KC though. So I've been meaning to get the Mage Arena 2K, but I just wanted to make sure I had like better stats and gear and bruise and stuff before I risked it. So I can actually have a chance to survive and not get one shot by BKRs. So it's time to go and get it. Yes. Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe. Okay, cool. Oh, all right. Mage Arena 2 time. So I've never done Mage Arena 2 on a hardcore before, so Mr. Mutt helped us out a lot by providing us really good guidance during this grind here. I mean, I don't know, it kind of depends where it is though, like, you might not even need it. Alright. Okay, I learned it, I learned it. Sweet, okay, I learned all three. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, boy! Oh, come on. I've never seen that before where it runs away. Oh, this is good. This is good. Yeah. We wanted to run away. Because I can literally just log out right now. Dude. Wait, it's not damaging you at all. Yeah, yeah. straight up. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, so you now you want to check Gothics and Sarah, see if it's anywhere near here. Yep. Alright, I'll just get ready to log out if there's anybody. I'll log out ready, yeah. Yep. Right. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. We go up here. Yeah, the recoils does work. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? I don't have enough runes? Or did my stats get lowered? What? Oh, you didn't refresh your thing. Oh, no. No. Uh, do I have to try again? Okay. All right, next. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, we should just kill it. Yeah, you should just kill it, yeah. Not healing it much. Be able to oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, Where's let's go. Headshot? <laughs> no, I'm... I freaking hexshotted him. Okay. Alright, how are we going? Alright, you got it? Yeah, yeah. Alright, are we gonna have to walk though? I only have 30 runs. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, holy shit. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Yo, oh. what the hell pathing? Yo, <laughs> come on. I'm putting very mage on. Yo, there it is. Ah, sweet. Huge upgrade. Oh. Ah, huge upgrade, but like... Yeah, shout out Mr. Mutz, <laughs> Yeah, spontaneous. Yeah, it was very spontaneous. I, I only asked Mutz to help me with the uh, the first cape. <laughs> the, you know, the normal cape, not the imbued. But yeah, check this out. Damn, 15 magic. That's that's huge. And the 2% magic damage that will come in handy at some point. Yeah, this is going to make Zora so much easier, though, for sure. And we're getting a trident soon, you know, courtesy of Fuse. Ooh, 90 magic accuracy. Look at that. New magic setup. With the imbues and rat cape. Oof. So many more improvements we can do though, but this is nice. This should help a lot, especially on the melee phase of Zora. This extra magic accuracy is gonna be massive. Ugh. Fuck. I misclicked. Damn. Ah, that was a close, close call. Oh, Frax plate skirt, let's go. Oh my god, that's so good. Ooh, wait. I might have actually completed full Ferrax just now, too. Very, very cool. Dang, full Ferrax and the skirt especially. Just, just the skirt alone is, like, huge. Alright, number 300. Here we go, back to back. Nope. But we did hit 300. I just hit Shit, the freaking one. Hell yeah, what the frick? What the hell is Oh my god, 2KC! No shot! No shot! You gotta be kidding me. No way, dude! Alright. A lot of the spotlight has been given to Mutz because of his early Elf City rush, but Mr. Fuse is no joke either. He has been grinding insanely hard as well. 30 days playtime. 1600 plus total, doing one of the most important grinds for the entire team, which is the Slayer grind. This man went ahead and got to 87 Slayer so freaking fast that I managed to get the Trident already, thanks to him. So please give this man a check out. He has a YouTube Mr. Fuse link in the description, and he also has a Twitch too, twitch.tv slash Fuse. All right, let's see. Uh, what's the quest called? Uh, Kingdom Divided. All right, cool. We're going to have to start this. All right, now that we have access to the Trident, 
We can also go ahead and unlock the thralls too. Unlock the thralls for Zora. So we can go like extra fast, so. Oh, I should have brought my art light. Damn. This fight is kind of scary. Oh, is this the one? Yeah, I gotta be careful of this one, man. Sweet. There you go. Finally, this quest is done again. So we're gonna swap the Tone of Water with the Book of the Dead because I have to use that as summon thralls. And it's almost similar stats magic wise to the Tome, so it's still pretty good as a shield for magic. Alright, we're gonna get some cosmics from Mutz from his gauntlet. Oh my god, that's uh that's a lot. <laughs> Yo, check out this setup, man. I've never done Zora like this before. Trident, sure, blowpipe, sure, I guess, but Without 87 Slayer, right? We didn't even grind for Kraken, man. This is so cool. Never thralled Zora, so this should be interesting. Let's talk about thralls in general, since it's still relatively new, but these are summons that you get from Zed Spellbook that when you summon it, they can hit anywhere from a 0 to a 3, and on most monsters, it will ignore the fence. So even at Zora, it'll ignore the fence. And this makes it incredibly powerful it's actually better than venge in most situations even at zora it's typically on average more reliable extra damage vengeance though still has higher personal best potential though just because of the fact that the boss can hit 40s and you can recoil it multiple times that way and also thralls are way more expensive it costs a ton of runes more expensive runes like blood runes to use but luckily i've been saving mine so wow first kill back and we got a pb Yo, PB first try. Oh my god, dude. And I wasn't even using the thralls as effectively as I could there. Now we know how, but wow, that was insane. Alright, I'm I'm expecting what? Two to three minute kills now? Costs quite a bit of runes though, blood runes, a lot of fires. Cosmics, no problem. Bloods, I guess no problem. I've been saving my 20k bloods from like blood bills. And barrels for this kind of stuff. Yep, put the throw in the middle at the start of the fight. So good. There's always something to learn, you know? Wow, that's a PB. Definitely a PB. 214. Let's go. Ooh, 250 Zora kills. Perfect. As my trident runs out. A thousand charges uh, for two hours of Zora, pretty much. Here we go, please. Oh, yes, Arams. Oh my god, Arams. Let's go. Arams. Let's freaking go, dude. Boys. I got Arams. Let's go. I would have preferred top, but yo, this is so good. Yes. Yes, finally. Finally, dude. The first piece of Arams. Only took 300 KC. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Let's go. I can use it at Zora today. Damn, dude. New upgrade? Oh, shit. Guys, we have reached 100 magic bonus. That's pretty cool, man. 100 magic bonus now. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what? Uh, yo, this is, uh... What? No way, dude. Uh, I want the blade. No, not the blade. What am I saying? I want... Oh, yeah, we were just talking about... Gauntlet for a second. Oh my god, dude. Uh, yo, I I'm trying to I'm trying to process, you know, right now. Uh, we just got a Zora pen. What the freak? <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to get a freaking uh, you know, unique item, but but yeah, we are on rate for two uniques. I, I guess I'll count the pet. I'm literally one level off a of max it. Uh, with the trident. So what I can do, I can go ahead and buy a bunch of wizards mind bombs. One mind bomb will sustain the max hit for the entire kill. So I think I'm going to stock up on some wizard's mind bombs because that one extra max hit will definitely speed up my kills. And I'm only doing one kill trips right now anyway, so I have plenty of space. There we go, 24 damage. That's my new max hit with the um, 87 magic boost. Shout out to the wizard's mind bomb. Yo, look at this, 40k Pyrrhus so far from uh, 256 Zora. 
Uh, I believe I should give some piercings to the boys. I think Mutz wants to get 55 runecrafting for um, three minute exile. So he can start doing the Basilisk jaw grind. That's if he ever can leave the Corrupted Gauntlet. He's still 5 out of 6 armor seed, so yeah, we'll see. Oh yes, yeah, so we just hit 83 range. And that means a bit better stats for Zora today. There it is, 84 magic. Let's go. It's really nice just being more focused on range and mage. Very different from what I normally do for my accounts. Especially with the MSB, it's like AFK Paradise. You can do Blowpipe, obviously, but I'm editing videos, so... For more chill. Throwing hammers, though, it's a bit expensive. 200 each, like... They really need to make them cheaper, honestly. Ooh, 86 is points. Yes, really good. I'm really annoyed doing Zorit with, like, base 80 HP. So, the quicker we get to 90+, plus, the better. Yes, 65 agility. And that is... 1600 total, man. That's pretty crazy, guys. Oh, nice. Just got an herb level from that. Poggies, poggies. This might be the last time I make Guthix rest because my HP is starting to get high enough now. Let me check how many anglers I got right now. Oh, 745 anglers. I'm chilling. I don't have to fish anymore. Dude, spirit flakes are so good. I can't believe I fished 700 anglers in like a few hours. All right, we're going to drink this. Wizard Mind Bomb. Yes! <laughs> it lit's alive. You're back. Sweet. It was like one stage away from fully grown. Oh my god. Would have been such a waste if it died. Worked my way towards the last piece of Graceful. Sweet. Now we actually have full, full Graceful. This whole time I've been wearing uh, Boots of Lightness, but. Imagine getting off a of Willow Tree. Like, I just haven't checked this in a long time, but. Hell yeah! We got it. And we can now do hard contracts without boosting. Holy crap, man. Hard contracts giving us the good good. Just two of these. And the rewards are noticeably better. There it is. 85 range. Let's go. Hope it's good. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. A miter. A bandos miter. Cool. This item is actually really good because it's a clue scroll, emo clue step, and also I can use it at Gall Wars for Banos protection. I recently got 100 combat, which means I can use Duradil for my Slayer Master. So, to that end, I want to get the Karam Jahar done because I have all the requirements now. One of them being 100 combat for the gloves, which teleports me to Shiloh, to the mine underground, which is really good for slaughter bracelets and such. And it's a really fast way to get to the Slayer Master because I'm going to be using him. Question about my achievements. Yeah, okay. Put this on room crafting. Yes, there we go. That should give me a 44. Then I can do the hard version. Yay! Hard is done. Yay! There we go. Of course, put this on herb, but I love this teleport. My favorite, man. I'm gonna be able to hook up the boys with some slaughter bracelets. Oh, 88 toe pass, guys. That's enough for me and the boys. My stats are never this low on an Iron Man before I get a whip. So this is insane. Base 76 attack. Like, what the hell? Funny that I've gotten literally like 57 herb uh, just through quests and diaries and stuff. So, oh my god. Yeah, literally everything was minted. But first time I made my own pots. I'm proud. Oh my god, this stupid- oh my- dude, hey, stop, stupid, bad, bad vampire, oh my goodness, man.